Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, and invited guests. I'm here to talk to you this afternoon about my research project, Socialization in the Independent Learning Environment. When I started the program at APU, I thought I would simply be on my own doing a lot of online chatting and no real interaction. But what I soon found through teleconferences and, and team projects is that there's a great deal of socialization that would occur, learning the strengths of all of us, the things that we do best, and the things that we may not do so great, but I learned a lot from that process. While doing this program, I found it very interesting to do something outside of what I normally do. And while coaching at the local high school, there was a young man who was in the local high school's independent homeschool program. And I found it very interesting about how he socialized with his teammates and how he found it very effective in taking a couple of classes on campus and then doing his schoolwork outside of, outside of campus. The literature that I reviewed, there were a lot of scholars who talked about the pros and cons of the socialization and home independent study program. Some were pro in that kids were able to socialize because they were dealing with adults and younger kids at the same time while not just being locked in the classroom with, with their peers of their own age. Others argued against it, stating that the school is the place where socialization must occur, not simply out and about in independent programs where you're by yourself. And their view of the world was that you were alone and you didn't learn anything from that as far as socialization was concerned. Through my surveys and interviews, I found that it was just the opposite. Children, the kids in the program felt very strong. They got a great deal out of it. They were able to socialize, meet friends, meet people that, that they normally would not meet because some of these people in the program are, are ballerinas, they're gymnasts, they're actors. They are, some of them are professional athletes, yachtsmen. And so these kids have an opportunity to meet all kind of people. And so they actually may have a better opportunity in their eyes to socialize with people worldwide as opposed to being locked into a simple classroom. The findings that I came away with was that these children truly believe that this was the best program for them. The difficulty throughout in, in coming to these findings was being able to ask concise questions that address each issue specifically so that the, in, the people involved in the, pro in the program we're seeing the question for what it was and not leaving a lot of room for them to, to go here or go there, but stay very, very on point with what was being discussed. Academic tutorials were one of the things that were provided for weekly socialization, socialization opportunities for these students. It was an optional activity that each student could participate in with their own choice, and the, the teachers participated, and it was felt as a very positive atmosphere for the students involved. Each child began to make new friends. They were ranging from the third graders on up to the high school kids, and it became a regular activity for these kids to come and socialize and grow closer and closer together. Field trips were one of the things that was used to create uh, socialization opportunities, and this was a great atmosphere because it involved the entire family, from the youngest to the oldest. It involved parents and teachers, so it was a great opportunity for them to uh, socialize across all grade levels. So as you can see, the students would meet for field trips. As you can see here, we have students from the third grade on up to high school. So you have a broad range of ages, including the teachers, who obviously are moms themselves and enjoy the field trips also. Students while on these field trips I came away with a, with a very enjoyable experience, and they enjoyed making new friends because on each field trip, you never quite know who was going to show up, be it a guy you met last week or someone new for this week. As you can see here, the Adamson House field trip was one again that reflects the diversity in the group that attended, from young kids to older kids, as well as teachers and parents. ASB was another opportunity for socialization. ASB is the associate student body, and they would get together to, uh, to create park days, yearbooks, activities, and other fun activities for the students to be involved in. Students can socialize on their own, through sports and the activities that they're involved in. And during this socialization, they are able to socialize with older people. And here again, they have a broad mix of socializations from young athletes to older athletes, depend, or depending on what activity that they are involved in. 
Students are encouraged to take courses at the, high, at the local high schools as well as the community colleges so they can begin to learn and experience the, the socialization that comes along with being in a, in a traditional classroom. Suggestions, there should be more tutorial opportunities, more field trips for students to go on, and we recommend the students have more electives at the high school or at the college levels. Resources must be made available for teachers to, for more time for socialize and experiences instead of emphasis on the simple one-to-one -one environment. With that being said, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you very much for your time and your patience in the presentation of my research project, Socialization and Independent Study Program. Thank you very much. Thank you.